I have no idea where we are. This is cool. I'm hearing really mean things. Oh, shit. What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica and in today's episode we are finally gonna go exploring the Aurora. I know this is something that a lot of you have been waiting for and it's been our long term plan for survival for quite a while now. We want to get over there, we want to find as much stuff as we can to help us survive and just see, I want to see what the hell happened because we don't actually know what happened in the Aurora. Maybe it was attacked, maybe something broke. One way or another, it crashed, but we don't know anything about the story, and we have found some indication of other crewmates or survivors already. So I'm really excited, but before we even start, I need to build a vehicle. And I'm not going to waste any time this episode. I want to get over there as soon as possible because I, I have no idea, like, what's waiting for us, how much is over there. For all I know, there, there could be multiple episodes of Exploring the Aurora, but we did find, last episode, Seamoth. I gathered all of the stuff, so we should just be able to build it. Whoa. Oh, that's what they do. They're like little fabricators. Is that my sea moth? That is so cool. Are, are we good? Are you guys good? I think they're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see. That is awesome. Look at that. It's like a little submarine. Oh, does it have, okay, it does have a power cell in it, so we're gonna have to be wary of that. I might bring an extra with me just to be safe, but enter the sea moth. Karen? Karen, you're sounding much more robotic. Oh, I can I can look with it. Oh my god, this is awesome. If it wouldn't lag so much. <laughs> it's freaking out a little bit because it's trying to figure out how to load everything. Health 100%, energy 99%. Okay, we can't waste a lot of time, I guess. This thing has uh, limited energy, so I'm gonna steer us towards the Aurora, and uh, we're gonna, whoa, whoa, calm, calm down. This is amazing. Oh, oh, what the shit? Oh no, did I break it? What? I broke my Seamoth. No, I just got it. No, it was brand new. I was having fun. Oh, you're kidding me. It's just broken bits now. Okay, well, let's make another one. All right, well, that took forever to get the resources needed to do this again. We're going to be much more careful with Seamoth number two. I'm happy I didn't name the first one because it would have been a very short-lived experience. It's good to know. I mean, I'm quite happy that we learned that here in the safe shallows rather than over there and having to swim back. And I also decided to make a sea glide and another oxygen tank while I was at it because I'm afraid if we get into the Aurora and parts of it are submerged, like if I have to be within confined spaces that I can't get to oxygen easily, I might need to move around a little bit faster. So we got that. All right, Seamoth. Hello, you You don't even worry about the last one, Karen. This one, this one's all you. So we're gonna point ourselves in the direction of the Aurora and we're on our way. Oh boy, yup, we're getting deep now, boys. This is cool, radiation detected, does that matter? My health is going down. Whoa! We didn't get to explore these guys last time. I should be wearing a radiation suit, why is it still? Radiation suit, why is it still hurting me? I don't understand. We didn't get to explore these guys last time. They're, uh, they're called reef backs. And they're so freaking cool. I can't go to the Aurora. I'm gonna freaking die. Like, I'm actually gonna die. I'm losing way too much health. I've, I'm only like part of the way there. This is still really cool to experience there. Okay, I'm gonna go back and try to think of how the hell I'm supposed to get over here without dying to radiation. Well, it's nighttime. I'm kind of curious where this light is coming from. Do you have lights now? Oh, that's really cool. Super helpful. I'm hearing weird things around me as well. Okay, we're gonna get back inside of you. So I have no idea what I could possibly do because if I get close to the Aurora, it's gonna damage me over time. So we might be able to get over there and just explore really quickly. I think that's all I can really do. So I have made like half a dozen med kits and maybe we could just keep patching ourselves up because we can go down pretty close to death and then the first aid kit brings you back to full health. So that's, that's all I got. Oh, this is a light too. That is really useful for nighttime. Okay, so we're still gonna go there during the night because we have a light, screw it. And uh, let's just hope that radiation is all that's waiting for us. Why do I get the feeling that the game is bugged and my radiation suit is supposed to prevent this? Because this doesn't seem right. 
It, it doesn't seem right that I'm wearing a radiation suit and I'm still dying and have the fuzzies. But either way, we'll have to make do with what we have. The game does freak out and bug a lot. Like, for some reason, I couldn't fix my life pod. You guys saw that the welder was broken. I had to screw around with the game files to get that to work. And I had to un uninstall the game entirely. And we were lucky that the save file doesn't uninstall with it. This looks like a way in. Hello. This must be really fun for you guys to watch, considering it's blurry as shit. Hopefully we can... Oh my god. Should we get out? We go over there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try getting out. Oh, it's so dark. Okay, you stay there. I need you to live. This doesn't make sense. There's nothing here. Okay, maybe when the sun comes up now, I can see something. Ooh. Here's something. I'm just gonna avoid all contact with these little angry crabby thingies. Oh, it's a good thing I'm recording this in high quality. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of the blurring. <laughs> okay, we got another supply crate. What do we get? A signal. Okay, I'll take it. I'll sort it out when I get home. What do we got in this one? That one flipped over. I apparently didn't need what was in that. Girl, first aid, first aid, first aid. Gimme, 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 gimme. First aid, boop. 93. So maybe they're just gonna like chain first aid kits to us. There's a lot of cool stuff here. I wish, hopefully I can get rid of the radiation. You know, maybe, maybe there's a way for us to like eject something so that the radiation will go elsewhere and I can explore here. I'm just gonna keep dancing around these crabs in the meantime. Battery, I, I'll take a battery, just stop hitting me. Another battery, another signal, okay, okay. Oh, we can go over here. Heat signature, that's a thing. Um, shit. Okay, let's try going on this. Oh, this is cool. I really wanna come back here when it's not radiated, I hope. There's gotta be a way to do that, right? It looks like it's letting up a little bit as well. It's less furry or fuzzy in here. This is so cool though. Like, look at this. This is, we're inside a giant ship. We're inside the Aurora. I did not expect to be able to actually go like deep into it. I thought we would just be like exploring the outside and like maybe some rooms. We can go down there, we can go down there. That looks, that looks dangerous. This place is still falling apart too. This sucks. We're getting our way down to the heat signature. Why did it just go quiet? Okay, we need we need another med kit. We need another med kit, and I just ate. I didn't want to eat. I want med kit. Okay, we have one med kit left, so we might have like two minutes left in the Aurora, and then I'm gonna die. Just straight up gonna die. So hopefully we get something done quick. What is this? Oh, this stuff breaking around me. What are you? These are broken. Can I fix these? I can't fix these. Okay, is that gonna help with anything? Oh. Uh, power efficient upgrade module. Okay, so they're, I'm, I'm breaking, I'm fixing the breaks in these containment things. What the hell was that? So this is what's letting out, yeah, this is what's letting out all of the, um, all the radiation. So if I fix this, maybe it won't explode further or keep killing me. Hopefully I can fix this so it stops killing me. Just stick your face right into the hole, right where the radiation is coming out. Right? Thanks, Karen, I gathered that. <laughs> I'm like Bob the Builder, can I get out of here? I'm five the Builder. There's gotta be more over here, right? Uh, come on, come on. What, is, what do we got here? This is missing an energy cell, no signal. I thought I, I think that's all of the containment breaches. It's telling me there's more though. Maybe we should keep going to that heat signature. I don't have a lot of time. All right, we're back. I had to leave because I was gonna die. So I went all the way back and I managed to get a bunch more first aid kits. And then in doing so, I realized that the heat signature isn't actually in the Aurora. One of those signatures that we got in the thing is from something else. No idea, and I also found another hole that lets me in. I escaped through this, so we're gonna go back. We, I'm gonna use my sea glide because it's pretty much the only thing getting me through all this, through the maze of underground garbage. Let, let me back up, and then I, I didn't, I guess I didn't repair everything, because it's not telling me that I repaired everything. I don't, I don't see any more holes though. Oh, there's one. Are you the last one? Did I really come back here just for you? Because that would upset me. Further breach is detected. Further breach is detected. Thanks, Karen. Okay, I'll keep looking. 
Here's one. Come on. Please work. Please work. Please do something. I'm not expecting to be able to get this thing off the ground. One radiation leak left. But if it would stop spewing out lethal radiation into my body, it would be great. You could hear, like, fire and pieces of metal dropping from the ceiling and hitting the top of the water. It's really cool. Very atmospheric. I wish it wasn't so fuzzy, but at the same time, I can't really complain. There's, the, oh, there's one. They have to just be popping up. There's no way I missed that. So I guess they're just randomly popping up, and I just need to keep looking for them. Last one. Hopefully. Uh, drive core breach sealed radiation dissipation in three days. Try downloading a temp with your Aurora black box device and countering inter- Oh, you're gonna read it for me. Contamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days. All right. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I'm still getting irradiated right now. It said something about a black box too. And I don't know what it meant. I didn't I didn't encounter any black box. Maybe I need to go back. There's nothing out that way. So let's let's go back and hopefully we can find something on our way back to uh, our sea moth. Oh, it's just a, that's just an instant climb. Okay, I expected I expected something else. So, I'm going to get my knife out and take a look around for a black box, which would be good, because that was one of the things that I said. We don't know why the Aurora crashed. A black box should answer that, right? Hopefully. Here, box, 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 box. So this was a T, we went that way. What's over here? Oh, fire and brimstone and, and blockage. Can I get through there? Is that gonna hurt me? I don't think, ah, it will hurt me. Okay, I can't, I don't think I can get through there. Okay, definitely can't get through there. That's that's enough for me. Let's try to find our way back. This is so cool. I think if the radiation is gone, I'm gonna really be able to appreciate this a little more. Maybe some fires will go out in the next few days. That'd be great. Yeah, you see it's a little bit clearer out here. These damn crabs though. Like, what, what the hell's your problem? Ow, 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 ow. I'm not gonna let you kill me. No, no. Okay, maybe you're gonna kill me. What the hell is that? What is its eye? Knife used up. Oh, that's bad. I was not expecting that. So we no longer have a knife. Um, yeah, I think we might need to come back here without radiation too. Oh shit, we're gonna dive. All right, <laughs> we're good. It's a good thing there's lots of water below me. Oh man, look, look at all this. I bet you could go in there. I bet you could go in there. Let's, uh, you know what? I don't wanna go back just yet. Let's take a look around. Whoa, it is huge. Like, this ship is massive. I have no idea where the black box would be, though. Like, we didn't find a command center or anything like that. I kind of want to go see what one of those heat signatures are. Maybe we should do that this episode? How long? Mm, I don't know if we're going to have time. No, you know what? Screw it. I want to go see what one of those heat signatures are. I want to see how deep it is around the Aurora. And it's giving me really creepy music. Unsafe depth? Oh shit, I never thought about that. This thing might not be able to go really deep. Okay, we're, we're not gonna do that then. We're, we're gonna go up. Oh, it's more mushroom fields. Cool, okay, so maybe we can hang around here, 111. Is that okay with you, Seamoth? Whoa. So freaking cool. Oh, that is awesome. I don't want to bump into any of this shit. It's just going to pop in and I'm going to die. I'm going to be real upset. Okay, I think we're good. I think let's go see what that heat signature is. Covering a crazy amount of ground. Like it's nobody's business. See, having a vehicle in this is such a world of difference and it is going to suck down the energy, but I can build power cells. I had to build the power cell to make this. So it's not a big deal. That's kind of cool. A couple of spires. Little, little bit of land, little hint of land. Where did that heat signature go? One over there. Where's, I, was, I was going towards one. Oh, it's down. Oh no, oh, what are you? It looks like a, a Rhydon mated with a seal. Okay, you're not kind. Let's, let's go down. I can't go down. I can't go below 150. Oh shit, did it just bump into me? Ah! This thing doesn't have weapons, does it? Nope. I can't, I can't go down. It's, it's 300 meters deep and, and I'm at 74 already. So we're out of luck. Man, I was hoping to see what that was. I have no idea where we are. This is cool. 
I'm hearing really mean things. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, they're not nice. They're not nice. Oh. Caves. Can I? I should not go in there. If I bump into a wall, I'm done. Done. I cannot. I cannot risk losing my sea moth again. <laughs> so let's let's just keep moving. Oh my god, the lag is crazy. You move so fast that it has trouble loading everything in so quickly because there's so many little details in the world. This is really cool though. Ooh, I want that. We got one of those last time, didn't we? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out. Okay. I'm gonna get out. Scanner. Cyclops hull fragment. I think that's a bigger one. I think that's a bigger sea moth. Two out of three. Okay, now let me back in. Ooh. All right. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Oh, I got another one. Can we do that again? Can I get out? I'm gonna scan you. Just give me, give me. Oh! Oh! Please, please stop. Please, please just let me. Nope, stop, 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 stop swinging after me. Karen, Karen, fire the weapons, fire the missiles. Where did the last hole go? There he is, son of a, oh yes. Oh, that is satisfying. Did I kill them? I definitely killed them and it didn't take any damage off of my guy. Oh, that is amazing. I was kind of hoping to find a diamond so that we could cut into one of these rooms, but didn't, oh, ow. Okay, 92, I'll remember that. Hopefully I can repair this but I, we didn't really have any luck. Have I even been in this one before? I don't know. I don't know if I have been. This one looks a little bit different. Let's let's get out and see. I don't think I, whoa. Oh, that's cool. So you guys can see, see my shadow a little bit better. I have like a mohawk. Can I get in here? No. Why can't I get in there? There's gotta be a way to get in here, right? Or not. I've gone the entire way around the outside. I haven't seen a single entrance. That doesn't make any sense. This wouldn't just be here for like aesthetics. There should be some purpose to it, I would imagine. Are we at the top? Aha, at the top, I see. Ooh, what have we had here? Scanning floodlight. Oh, that's really cool. I could probably put that inside or outside to kind of light up around me. Yeah, I really like that you can find like furniture and stuff in this. It, it makes it just a little bit more Oh, it's her again. Yeah, that's the same woman. Maybe maybe everybody on the ship had a crush on her. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we got... There's a lot here. Sealed door. Another sealed door, really. Chair? I'll take a chair. I need to go get some oxygen soon, too. But now we have a desk. We have a chair. We have a lamp. Pretty much have an office. What was in here, I wonder? Usually these are just like little, oh no, this is pretty big. This is pretty big. Oh, whoa, we're behind the sealed, ah, oh, there's another sealed door. No, there isn't. We're, we're in, we're in through the sealed door. What do we have? Nothing. This would have, oh, don't tell me all the sealed doors have nothing good in them. It's just a desk and a, and a broken thing and some crates with nothing in them. That's super disappointing. Maybe there's something like wedge down here? Nope. Literally, literally bupkis. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hide in this box and drown out of sadness. And a chair. Okay, well, it was all the same stuff that was out there. Which is probably why I can get through without having to cut it, hopefully. Because I really do want to see some exciting things in those closed doors. Interesting. So yeah, we we got a bunch of stuff. Again, I don't know why she's here again. I can't scan her, I can't read those papers or anything like that. I like to think it isn't because the developers are just reusing assets. I like to think there's a reason for it. Like I said, maybe everybody has a crush on her. Everybody got a got her picture pin in their locker kind of thing. Okay, well that was cool. We got some more stuff. Hello, Karen, bring me home. But that's gonna be it for this episode of Subnautica, guys. So I guess we're gonna spend a little bit of time waiting for the radiation to subside, and then we're gonna take a really detailed look around the Aurora. And I don't really wanna wait to do that this episode and then go back and then cut everything down because it was really cool to get over there and fight through the radiation and the crazy crabs and get lost in the absolute mass that is the Aurora. And we got a bit of stuff. I mean, we got a chair, we got some cosmetics, we got rid of the radiation. So hopefully when we go back, we can find some more stuff. It said 
said that I need to find a black box, so there's probably another entire section of the ship that we can get into, which would be really, really cool, but I, I have no idea. And we didn't even encounter any sea life as well, which is probably a good thing, because I'd imagine anything living in deep water that can survive radiation is probably not very nice. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Oh, God. Is that baby wipes? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like, I haven't tasted baby wipes before, but, oh, it doesn't taste like baby wipe smell. Oh, it, it tastes like burning garbage. Ooh.